Minds and Spirits Review. Today I'm drinking from um, Boxcar and Dahlia. It's a collab between them. And this is their Crocodile King Barley Wine. It is £12 for the bottle. So it's not cheap. It's, it's newish out. Um, I don't know anything about the beer. Although I do know it's new out. And it did cost me 12 quid. So just click on here a minute. And yeah. The wife says you're going to be steaming. No, nah, I'm not. I'll be good. So an old English school. English what? Yeah, an old school, sorry. Good evening again. And thank you again. An old school English barley wine. Big rich lashings of English hops. Delicious. Beer is be be vegan friendly. Uh, 2026 best before date. So it's, it's in date, Craig. And Dave. Uh, brewed in Cheltenham. Brewed and bottled by Dahlia Brewing Company. So good collaboration. Goatee's birthday as well. Well, again, you'd have some birthdays. Um, I'll just click on here and put the comments on the screen. Yeah, £12, mate. Father's Day present. So, put the pop out chat on. Feels good to be back in the beer room doing live reviews, I must say. So, we'll give it a pour. Let's see how it is. Yeah, I found the... Uh, he likes his, he likes your birthdays, don't you? So, bit of smoke. Look, this smoke. For those people who have a fascination with smoke, I have watched one or two people who do a gold cup. I know, posh, isn't it? He's posh. He's posh stuff, that do you? He likes the posh stuff. Good evening. Good evening, Jackman. How are you, mate? Happy 40th. Thank you. Three pound of smoke. And nearly a good pour. So I put that there so you can see it. Product placement as usual. Are you going to get it next weekend? Let's hope it's decent, mate. Good evening, Jake. How are you, mate? Happy 21st. Thank you. You've gone up in my estimations. Whether well, you was already up there, to be fair. So big, hazy pour, this. Lots of carbonation inside. Um, oh, comments have gone up. And good evening, Jackman, as well. I'd say Jackman, isn't it? This is on my phone tonight. I've also got an LED light above the phone. Just, just above the phone up here. So it's... Um, yeah, so from the camera, it looks darker. The closer you get to the camera, it's actually quite light. It already... Yeah, it looks like marmalade coloured pour, doesn't it? Lots of carbonation going off. The ABV. Wow, I didn't really check the ABV out, actually. Good spot. Three hundred and seventy-five mils, four point one units. Oh, eleven percent. Welcome back, Jim. How are you, mate? So, yeah, I've got an LED light above the... Um, <laughs> so, yeah, 11%. Nice beer. Nearly a quid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good thing my son bought it for my birthday, for me Father's Day. Good lad. He's a good lad. I'm getting a white whiff of chocolate from ever here, though. I need to put my finger on there a minute to stop the chocolate. All I can smell is chocolate. Not a massive amount of on the nose though, but then again, I'm, I'm getting chocolate. I'm getting blast of chocolate from that um, fermentation there. Would you back it in? That's it. I've put the box over it now because I can't. Um, I can't. The chocolate's stopping me from smelling those bells. Do apologise for notifications. I can't help it. I haven't turned them off before and. So yeah, it does look like a strong West Coast IPA to be fair. Like you say, oh, someone's dinging me now. How much for a cake at this time of night? It's Ten o'clock nearly. Pack it in. You know, it, it is strong, the aroma. Whoa, that's got some to it. Wow. 
So not much on the nose, but uh, good to hear, Jane. Celebrating my birthday. Fair play to you, mate. Yeah. It's always good to celebrate other people's birthdays. I'm fair. I'm with you. I reckon everyone ought to put their birthdays on the internet so we can all celebrate it. It's the best excuse ever. Well, my... Yeah, it doesn't look like a barley wine, does it? My dad used to get drunk on barley wines back in the day. And I'm sure Shipston's Brewery, back in the 80s, used to do barley wines. Not that I've seen a lot of my dad. Yeah, Craig's getting a bollocking. <clears throat> He's dinging me in a review. He's a bad lad. But, uh, you know, I'm laughing. I'm joking. But, um, new bar at Manchester Airport. Bless you. That'd be good for when we get to go to America. Can you, can you hear that now? It's going mad. So on the nose, there's not a lot on the nose, to be honest. Now I can actually smell the nose anyway, because all I could smell before was chocolate. Because that's going mad in the background. And again, there's, there's it's only notes on the nose. It's really, really subtle. And then you get the taste. The taste is where it explodes. You get massive blast of taste. You're really going to know. If you get this, Craig, next week, I'll, I'll look forward to watching your review over mine. Oh, bloody hell, that's got some boozy, booziness to that is. Creamy, um, boozy, really, really boozy. Oh, strong. First time drinking a day of brewery as well. It's, uh, you know, I know it only in the last, oh, I don't know. It's only been about seven or eight months. I don't know enough about the subject, uh, Jim, to be honest. Yeah. No notification on this one. Damn. Usually the same, isn't it? Yeah, there's, there's a lot I do need to, to learn about more. And I am the per, sort of person who wants to learn. And good evening, and thank you. No, 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 because it's a treat there. This is, really is a treat. I need to watch this. It's not a bad pour, is it? it? And it tastes absolutely awesome. The only downer is I've had, a, I've had a fair few beers today, so it's um, it's an Asus Chromebook. Um, I think it was Asus, but yeah, really nice. I think it was in the three to four hundred pound range that she bought, which for my wife is a lot to do because she doesn't get paid any money. You know, she's not working, so and Jenny does like cakes. So for her to use her cake money to do that, you know, it's it's quite humbling in some ways. I want to visit more tap rooms, yeah. More roasty and toasty. Right here, that's interesting. So this then, if I was going to say which which version this is, um, if if as long as you're not as long as you're not taking the mick out of me, um, I would say this is ten. This is a bit more American than it is English. Fennel and dried fruit. Hmm. I would, I would say on the nose, it is more dried fruit on the nose than it's certain than it is um, than it is the brighter fruit. On the t on the smoother, but I'm not getting the roasted toastiness. I'm getting a smoother initial start to it. Go away. I'm off tomorrow. Yeah. Oh my gosh. 
and the ABV is rocking me. Wow, that's absolutely. Yeah, so I'm off tomorrow. I'm, I'm driving over to, um, well, I've got work in the morning. I've got two gardens to do. So no more beer after this. No. Um, I'm driving over to, um, what time does that say? Five past ten. Yeah, I'm driving over to um, Southampton tomorrow. So I've got a three and a half hour drive, apparently. So that'll be interesting. Turn the steak over the wallpaper scraper. You clean the rear wallpaper scraper. Dog's obviously done a poo in the garden. He's coming down to the shed to make sure I go back up the ass. That's what that's, what that's about. Yeah. So, wow. That's wallop, man. Bloody hell. And... Uh, Bear in mind, I've had, I had a pint in one pub, then I did a beer review when I got home, then I've had one pint in, in another place, and then my mates have had two pints, so. I know, it's when the dog walks in and bounces on the floor, the shed, the shed floor's spongy. Um, what it is, it's, it's wood. And then there's like a, three layers of bubble wrap. And the floor's not that great. It's like a laminate, cheapo bloody laminate floor. And it bounces along. So it's like a floating floor, shall we say. I'll be doing my own floaters later, but not them type of floaters. Um, but yeah, it bounces. So, so everything moves up and down. Yeah, and it's not doing my eyes any good because already I'm off steaming. So yeah, next Friday for the old Tom challenge. Um, yeah, I've got to do I've got to watch his, for his poos when I walk up the path as well. Put the put the camera on the path just to make sure I don't step in any. Yeah, it's all good. Is your daughter with you at the building site then? Well, I'll tell you a little story now, um, James. You may or may not have heard this before. And uh, it's, it's my crying glory. It's not going to be for everyone, so I do apologise. But I went to toilet one day in the Arboretum. The Arboretum of all the places, you know, it's, it's legend for me. I went to the toilet and obviously I went for a, a turd, as you do. A, a, boo, a poo, as you do. And, uh, yeah. And I'm not joking. It hit the rim of the toilet. And I couldn't flush it. I was like, fucking hell. I had to walk into the mess room with 10 other blokes and say, have you seen what I've just done? And uh, it was it was legend status, you know. And uh, <laughs> however all that shite came out of me in one go was one thing, but oh my God, to hit the rim. I mean, that was just amazing. You know, it was, um, it was a truly, a true moment, yes. And the thing is, one of my best mates went, went into the toilet later and he was the one who flushed it down. Yeah. yeah. Obviously wanted to go for a poo of his own. It, I tell you what, wow. It was, it, was, it was a monumental moment. Although my kids, all three of my kids. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And when someone says to you, you're full of shit, and you say, well, yeah, at that moment I might have been. <laughs> The basilisk coming. <laughs> oh dear. I think our sense of humour is so so close. We're like the English and Scottish version of the same person. <laughs> Obviously, you're younger than me, but uh, yeah, that sense of humour that's just so wrong but so right. You know, the old Tom challenge. It's going to be interesting. Yes, it is. I will be putting a link out there. Obviously, you know, you've got to be able, obviously, we don't want anybody naked, coming on naked because you won't get on. Um, but, um, you know, we don't do that sort of thing. But, you know, and obviously don't be too brave. You know, there's limits. We all have limits. If you've got to two, two, two old toms and you're steaming, there ain't no way you're going to get to ten. And uh, if I couldn't drink an old tom on top of this tonight because I'm already well on my way. 
this is open matters. It's a lovely beer though. Boxcar Brewery. So it's only my second beer from Boxcar Brewery. And as far as I know, the first ever beer from Daya. Which is why on the back wall that I, I picked up some, a uh, couple from Overtone. I picked up one from Glass House. I picked up a Brow Urge Keys Brewery beer. I don't know if you can actually see that on the camera. Somewhere here. Yeah, you can see it, yeah. So it's a Cognac. Caramel Fudge Stout, Cognac Imperial. Well, I would normally say it's Asda, but um, I'm seeing double as well. Don't you worry. I'm having to look over there to watch the comments properly. I'm not fridging them. Good evening. What's the shandy? <laughs> so it's 11% of barley wine called Crocodile King from Boxcar and Daya. Beautiful beer. Looks, I mean, it looks like a, a West Coast IPA, to be fair. It's got that lovely um, neon amber look to it. It's like a marmalade look. Hazy. Lots of carbonation initially. It's died off quite a treat now. Um, a nice three mils of a head. That's what she said. And... Uh, the nose is starting to get better now. Now the air's got to it. The nose is starting to come forward. Whereas at first it was very subtle and not much nose. But on the booze, on the side, on the other side, the, the, the boozy element. Go out. Pee off. Good evening, Paul. How are you, mate? I'll wait till your comment comes over here because I can see everything then. Oh, dear. Five pints in the vat and fiddle, bless you. Beer heads in Nottingham. Well, I do. Good evening, Mark. And good evening, Charlotte. Um, I need to go down to the vat and fiddle. I need to take my draft bottles. Hopefully they'll fill me draft bottles. Going Because I don't like doing reviews in pubs. Um, in, on a general thing. Five pints in the vat and fiddle. What did you have? The uh, the standard stuff or something new? Let me know. A new beer tomorrow as well. Double dry up pale. Have you had it yet? I also need to pick up some of these um, attic brews that are coming out. Because obviously they're making, they are making the beer for Castle Rock. So their beer is quite interesting to me. Good evening, Rod. How are you? Thank you for the um, the happy birthday today as well. And thank you, everybody, for the happy birthdays. It's been quite a humbling day, to be fair. You know, um, first time, obviously, that my birthday's been out in the Beer Review community. And, 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 and more so across a lot of different stuff. And finishing your day, bless you. Um, and you know it, it's it's been great. It really has. It's, it's it is quite humbling. You know so much. Um, is it? Are we going England versus Germany then? So it's definitely England versus Germany. Oh shit! That's going to be some match. Beer reviews from the uh, from the front room. I think while I'm watching the match. Yeah. I'm sure, the wife won't mind. Is there any parking anywhere near the Batman Fiddle? Might get my wife to drop me down. Yeah, she don't mind. Don't mention the war. Sweden versus Ukraine. Are you? I didn't think Ukraine got through. I know. I know. Hugh was on about Ukraine. Obviously, you. I know. You likes his Ukraine, doesn't he? Oh, that'll be rampant lion versus you, the bear kid. A bear off challenge at the same time. Good evening, Mike. How are you? And uh, thank you. Very well, thank you. Been a great day. Been a great birthday. Been a great day overall. And finishing off with a good beer as well. A crack, cracking beer, to be fair. So 
Sorry. <laughs> I like you, I do. I look at his um, his Facebook feed and his, his social media feeds, and he's going when he's on his days off. He's visiting all these beer rooms, and he must know every single brewer in the land. Good evening. Um. He must know every single brewer in the land because everywhere he goes, he knows somebody, and he definitely knows his his, his stuff. Getting invited to tap rooms and stuff, you know, quite jealous. Not being honest, I'm um, not being on, you know, being honest rather. Not being honest. What's that about? <clears throat> so the carbonation settled down quite nicely on this. Uh, I am wary of the time because um, bollockings will come if I don't and. Uh, Cheers, Lee, and uh, thank you. What are the Dutch doing to the Welsh fans then? Because that'll, you know, Welsh, Welsh and British, like the English and the Scottish, no one wants any of the British being, being dirtied on. <laughs> Not letting them go to the game. It's a bit naughty, isn't it? It is a bit naughty. I mean, look at England and Scotland. England at the Scottish in. Scotland really played well. Uh, they closed England down well. You know, the Scottish showed other teams how to close England down. But a lot of these Scottish players play with the English players. So they know how to close the English players down. But not, not good at the Dutch. Let's hope the Welsh thrash the Dutch and knock them out. Serve them right, them, it? Thank you. See you later. They're playing with themselves. No. Yeah. It's a job everyone's got to do at some stage, I suppose. So... Going into some sort of review mode on this before I get too drunk and just forget about the review. And being as it's um, <laughs> Luka Modric, let's be fair, he is an amazing player. And Croatia beat England the other year and uh, in the World Cup in the semi finals. And uh, Croatia were just too good for us then. And uh, sometimes it's about tactics. Sometimes it's about... What I don't like in football is cheats. If you get beaten by any team that are better than you, fair play. When you get cheated out of a game by referees that, you know, that they really jump on the floor because, oh, oh, I've been killed. Neymar is one of the worst in world football for it. The best players don't jump on the floor. They just carry on playing the best and show the other team that they are the very best. If you're beaten by a team who are just too good for you, Iceland beat England. Robin, Robin Van Persie. <laughs> um, Iceland beat England the other year. They didn't jump on the floor. They played as a team. They beat England. And, you know, that was a wake-up call. That was a team that played as a team and beat England as a team. And that, you know, that's where teams need to learn from. That the best playing teams are them that play together. Thank you. And good evening. I'm trying to concentrate. I'm trying to review. Yeah, it's difficult. I haven't watched the penalties. I haven't, I've not really watched anything by the England, two England matches. Cristiano Ronaldo, you know, I don't like some of his ass. I never did like the, when he when he did that wink against the, the, the England team. Although Rooney, sometimes to himself, is too thick, you know, in himself. But um, Ronaldo, Cristiano Ronaldo has done what Messi hasn't. He's gone to f one, two, three, four different countries, performed world class in four different countries for their teams. For God's sake, dog, go out the room. 
you nearly knocked my beer out of my hand. Out of the room. And it's performed brilliantly for four in four different countries. And I hope he keeps going. Because at his age, with his fitness, go out of the room. Now. I'd really, really like Ronaldo to come back to the UK. And in some ways, back to Man U. But I'd also like Messi to come to Man City. Wow. Get them players back in the same league, playing in the English Premier League, the best league in the world, where no real teams dominate in the league. Any one of about six or eight teams can do it. Then let's see who the best in the world is. That's where I want it, where I want it to be. Yeah. I mean, Cristiano Ronaldo is a bit of a showboater. But, I mean, when you're that good, you know. And I think Sweden will go far. We, we got past Sweden by the skin of our teeth. They were very good at the World Cup 2018. And, uh, you know, I was, in, I was in Fort Park watching it. About 3,000 or more of us in the dome in Fort Park. And in the middle of in the middle of a roller coaster, you know, a roller coaster day, going to watch the England match. I tell you what, the atmosphere was world class. I've never come across anything like it. You know, unless you're in the stadium, do you get the atmosphere? I was in a theme park watching England play for Sweden. The best atmosphere that I've, I've come across ever in a theme park. And the, the, at the end, the cheering at the end. Oh my God, the beer flowing, the cheering. And then back on the rise afterwards. What more? <laughs> Only takes one game, mate. Only takes one game. Yeah, Pogba. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's amazing how well he plays for France and then shite for other countries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For other teams, rather. Yeah. England versus Wales for the semi-final. That would be amazing, wouldn't it? When we play at our best, we can beat any team in the world. We can. It's simple as that. It's just that we lose that, you know, they, they lose their heads, you know. But at some stage, it can happen. Aaron Ramsey. Yeah, 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 yeah. Quality player. And let's be fair, whether you take the piss out of Gareth Bale or not, um, my eyes, I'm you know, really pissed now. Um, whether you take the piss out of Gareth Bale or not, he's world class. On his day, he can make Wales one of the best teams in the world. Him and, and um, Aaron Ramsey are special. And that's the reason why, I've got my head, at least it's lower than the camera. And earlier on, I walked into my mate's shed. So, if you can see, there should be a red mark somewhere. Just about here somewhere. It was bleeding earlier. Yeah. Pissed up and walked into his shed. Yeah. These things happen when you've had a drink. Shamina Benjamin. We don't want her home. No. No. Kane, Kane needs to start showing up. But then sometimes the big players do come. They do come back. Wales could win it. You know, they could win it. But we've got to get past the respective teams are playing in the next round first. It's going to be an interesting, um, it's going to be an interesting Euro Europa, Euro Europa Cup or whatever it's called. So, need to crack on. The nose is becoming more prominent now. Although, like Jim said earlier, there's an oiliness to this, to, to this now. So I get a dried fruit. I get an oiliness. This is like, if what you're saying was not taking the mick out of me earlier. Well... Well, yeah, 
as British, we want any of our British teams to win over the Europeans, don't we? You know. So, the fact that there are loads of people watching and I need to concentrate for a second. I'm not going to watch any, any comments for a second. Anyone but Scotland. And you live in Scotland, you bad lad. Um, penos. We don't want to watch pen penalties. No one wants to watch penalties. Too heartbreaking. Um, on the poor side of things. A marmalade colour, yeah, I would go for a marmalade colour on the poor, certainly hazy, uh, gold into amber, so we'll go for marmalade, a little white head on this now, on the nose, <sighs> there's more of aroma, 20 odd minutes at 30 minutes, I'm in for a bollocking, 30 minutes in, yeah, I'm used to it. This is a very different barley wine than what I'm used to. It's um, I'm used to barley wines being slightly different to this, so it's it's interesting. Saka was amazing. I thought Saka the other night. Yeah, just just coming off the um, drink and back onto the football for a second. Wow, that eleven percent is it in home? Jesus me, steaming, fucking steaming. Do I care? If I swore, no, I never did. Never did. One is honest. But anyway, it's not sniffing one of your own farts. Isn't it? You do a fart and you're like, oh, yes, that smells nice. So, yeah, the nose is still subtle on this. You know, I'm not, uh, there's a fruitiness on the nose, but other than that, more dried fruit than anything else on the taste. And again, that does follow through to the taste, to be fair. I thought I got an oiliness from this. There's an oiliness, but there's a smoothness. Um, if I could describe some of the taste, it'd be a bit candied fruitish. Am I right or wrong? I have no idea. You know, I may be right and I may be well and truly wrong. But it uh, depends what you've been drinking all night and all that. I would always play Grealish, definitely. But it's an outstanding beer. I'll have a look, James, just out of curiosity. For the, for, the, for the five seconds I can see. No. So what it says is an old school English barley wine. Big, rich lashings of English hops. Delicious. On the ingredients, contains water, malted barley, hops, yeast, and contains gluten. Doesn't say anything else other than that, to be fair. Yeah, day uh, and uh, boxcar, crocodile king, 11%. Wow. Do I feel drunk? Yes, I see I do. And, uh, but yeah. What I can say is, this is a real quality, um, you see, I, I, I need lessons in, in certain things. This is where, I think, you know, if you're on a beer review path, all beer reviewers, you know, everyone does it different. So in some ways, there's never a right and wrong way, in some ways, but to learn your trade as you are if you was a gardener or in, in any in any trade in life you know you want to um, learn more about what the hops are malts barley wine wheat and everything you want to learn, learn oh for god's sake it's a dog is it not a, learn as much as you can and you know if it's interesting to you because it, it you understand more about a lot more processes and um you know not just about what tastes nice and what tastes you know, it doesn't taste nice. And it is interesting, you know. 
The world of beer is more interesting than, it, than just a pint. Uh, it's a pint of beer. Oh, that tastes nice. I want it next one, you. Oh, lovely. But it's not about that. There's more to it. So, out of five for this, I really like this. Uh, it wasn't the barley wine I was expecting, to be fair. Uh, I thought it might be slightly darker and maybe a bit stronger. 6.9. Um, yeah, a good 4.65 out of me. No, I don't think anybody has. <laughs> um, but you've got to be careful what you say in this world, in this day and age. You know, them people can't get away with stuff this day, these days. And it's how the world should be. We should all be playing Namisa. You know, nice people should always win. Um, yeah, a good 4.65. Right, I better go up the house. Um, 999. And uh, thank you everyone for today. You know, for those who are not watching this, who may watch this later, thank you all for the, you know, the, for joining in the live streams, for the comments, for the interaction. Um it probably will at some stage. Um, it's been a cracking day. I'm ready for a great weekend. There will be bear reviews over the weekend at some stage, hopefully. And I may have to take some of my draft beers down to, down to Southampton or pick some beers up at least. Yeah, so go to the rest of that. I mean, it's only half ten now, so I've got the rest of the evening. Probably go to bed about one o'clock, get up for seven and back to work. And uh, thank you for coming on, James. It's great to learn from the master. And, uh, and you and Craig, obviously. Two masters, definitely. And uh, cheers, everyone. Thank you. And uh, 50 not out, let's hope not, eh? Oh, dear. Eh? 50. 50. I mean, God, what's that about, eh? I don't feel no older than an 18-year-old. I don't care what that mirror says or what the camera says. But I don't, you know, it's as simple as that. And uh, probably no, no more brainier than I was at an 18 year old. Probably lost some brains by then. Thank you, Rod. And uh, cheers, everyone. I hope, you've had, I hope you have a great day, or the rest of your day anyway, because it's quite late over in the UK. Yes, I'm hoping, if I can, to get over and see Scott and Wanda. You know, it'd be nice. If things work out well, I might try and get over on Saturday night and go and uh, give them a nudge. You know, theme park shuts at five, 30 minutes to Portsmouth. Say to the wife, let's drive over to Portsmouth. Let's go and see that legend and his missus. Stunning people. And uh, see everyone soon. Cheers, everyone. Thank you all for dropping in tonight. Been a great night. Been a great Thursday. Cheers. <laughs> you never know. Cheers. Yeah, oh, there's no, yeah, the alarm's been cancelled. I've turned the bugger off. Cheers, everyone.